Hey and welcome to Bush Kids. We've got another challenge for you today and that's uh, in terms of getting together a first aid kit, first aid kit for the children. Uh, before we start on that I just want to uh, reiterate a couple of things really. Um, there's some videos that we post that uh, are, are actually using some bushcraft techniques in the use of fire, uh, knives and uh, saws. And it's obviously really important to be sure to be safe uh, with those. So what we're going to go through today is a first aid kit for the children. Uh, but this is their first first aid kit. And we think this is really important that they take responsibility for um, first aid. They start to think about that, uh, particularly in the use of knives, saws and fires. And this is by no means a full first aid kit. Uh, as a parent, um, obviously there's probably other things that you want to think about. Uh, there's probably some courses that you can go on uh, or you can get some supervision around um, proper first aid, full on first aid for outdoor um, situations. But today what we're going to talk about is, is really a first, first aid kit for the children. So what I've got here is a first aid kit and I've actually bought this from a well-known supermarket chain in England called Tesco's. It was about six pounds. And I think the reason I wanted to buy this was to say, actually, you've got to start from somewhere. And for a child where what you're really looking is for, for some basic first aid bits and pieces, then obviously starting from somewhere with a package like this could be really good. So making that investment, if you can afford it, uh, five or six pounds uh, for a first aid kit uh, like this, uh, with some bits and bobs in there is a, is a really good, um, I think, investment. Uh, and fundamentally, it comes in a, a nice red pack, something that can be seen really easily, and a pack uh, that can be hung off a belt or off a strap um, and be carried around, and obviously carries some of the elements of the first aid kit in here. Okay, so let's have a look uh, what's in this uh, first aid kit then. So, uh, I have to admit, um, there are some really good things in here, but also I've added some things in. So, let me just tell you the things that were in here that I thought were good, and also the things that I've added. So, firstly, um, just a couple of bandages, uh, standard bandages that are, are always useful in a first aid situation. A uh, crepe bandage or a flexible bandage. Um, what I, I liked about this actually is you've got a little flashlight in there just to see what you're doing if there's any problems in the dark. And also what I really liked is the fact that there's a whistle in here, emergency whistle, to call for help if there's any challenges. Um, there is also a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, some really good uh, just uh, strip uh, plasters which are good. Um, we had some um, non-adherent pads so basically once you've if you've got a, a bigger cut or a bigger injury you can put that on it first and foremost before you put the bandage on which I thought was good. Um, you had some uh, safety gloves uh, as well obviously that's good two pieces in there not enough gen generally but something for the kids to be aware of when they're dealing with first aid situations particularly if there's blood to put gloves on um, uh, we had some tape uh, a little bit of tape to use and then in addition to that we had uh, some little scissors for cutting our plasters or some of the uh, non-adherent pad. We had some um, safety pins for holding some of the crate bandage together or the, the bandage together. There is some alcoholic pads or antiseptic um, wipes which I thought was good. Uh, so obviously they're good for uh, just cleaning a wound as you get it. And equally, I thought this was pretty good. It was an emergency blanket within there as well, which is, is, is always good in a first aid situation. 
uh, if it's cold or dealing with shock to get that around the person. Um, so um, that's what was in the package alongside the bag. Uh, what I have uh, also uh, wanted to add into this, um, just to make it a, a very basic uh, pack, is a couple of things. Uh, some uh, burn shield or for burns and scalds, uh, essentially if they get a quick burn they can put that on it uh, before putting a bandage on. So some burn shield, uh, a set of tweezers, always good if you've got some um, splinters or, or anything that you need to find, um, have some fine attention to, they're always worth having. And also, uh, what I've put in there is a triangular bandage. So again, a little bit more of a, a bandage, a bigger bandage to hold the arm up or wrap things up or wrap things together if there's an issue. So that's basically uh, what's in the pack. So as I said right at the beginning, this is uh, really a, 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 an idea of a basic pack for a child. And um, it's really to just get them to start to think about the things that might happen uh, if they're out in the outdoors and start to think how they would deal with it. As we said before, be sure to be safe, respectful responsibility and uh, sensitive supervision if you're the adult with uh, the team, then really you need to be having um, a decent first aid uh, kit to deal with any eventualities that we'll have, or at least having, if you're in a, an organized group, making sure that the supervisor or instructor can do that. So as I put this away, I'm just gonna quickly go through the things again. So triangular bandage, uh, always good, I think. Great to get the kids uh, putting their arms up and um, uh, bandaging up uh, a, a, a triangular bandage on their arm so it can hold them up um, if they get any challenges there. Uh, obviously we have the emergency blanket uh, that's always good if um, they need to know that if they are uh, in a, an emergency situation somebody's in the cold or going through kind of any kind of shock putting this around them will keep the body height heat really really well stabilized. Uh, it can also act as a shelter in the rain and uh, a really decent piece of first aid kit to have uh, for the children to have. Burns, gel, um, hopefully there isn't gonna be any situation where um, it's anything other than a, a quick touch on a finger or a hand um, and this will do for that in terms of getting that burn gel um, onto the, the wound. Obviously, before getting any gel on there, you might want to run it through uh, cold water, and that's also a good thing to have as a first aid kit, is some cold water, some drinkable, cleanable water um, around the first aid kit. But those uh, burn gels are good. Um, we've got some alcohol pads uh, to clean wounds, so any, any time a wound, a cut, little cut or a nick, uh, clean it with a pad first, uh, and that gets, uh, any uh, badness out of the cup before we do anything else with it. Uh, we've got some um, safety gloves. These might not be that well fitting for a, a child, but again, the principle having gloves to protect them against any, particularly any blood, uh, or if they've got anything on their hands to think about safety and hygiene of the hands before going into a first aid situation. Um, We've got um, some standard plaster and uh, some scissors to cut that up. That's generally what you will need 99% of the time. A little bit of a nick or a cut and uh, just cutting a little bit off there and, and having them tend to themselves with the plaster. Um, we've got some non-adherent pad. So again, if the cut is a little bit uh, bigger than a nick, then we can cut out a little bit of this pad I'm putting over it's not going to stick to the to the cut before we put uh, a bandage or two on there around that and when we put the bandage on then we can use a little bit of tape to keep it in place obviously bandages as we've seen a um, couple of things tweezers great for splinters and those kind of things or anything that you need to remove from a cut uh, always worth having in there and the kids to think about that in terms of the detail 
and things to remove from a cut. Uh, flashlight, if you're in the dark, then what are you gonna do to get into your first aid kit and know things that where things are? So that's always useful. A whistle, we'll talk about this at another time and I might put some cordage on this, um, but six blasts of a whistle is a standard uh, procedure for telling anybody that you're in trouble. The response to that is three blasts on a whistle. So somebody saying, I hear you and I'm gonna come and help will be three blasts of a whistle. But again, it's worthwhile the children knowing that if any time they're getting to problems, wherever they are, six blasts of a whistle is generally recognized as, I'm in trouble, can you, can, can, can you come and help? Uh, and lastly, some uh, safety pins, again, um, just to hold the bandages together, uh, hold the um, triangular bandage together, using the pin to try and get a, um, a splinter out if we can't use the, um, um, the tweezers but very useful. And all of that in one pack. And uh, I think as a standard first first aid kit, an ouch pouch for the children, uh, that should suffice. So again, this challenge was about building out your own first aid kit. And uh, it'd be great to see some of the children either having their first aid kit, building one out uh, and you helping them with that and being a little bit clearer on some of the things that are in there. It's no good having a kit without knowing what's in there and how to use it. And just starting to think about that. Um, hopefully I'll never use it, but uh, knowing that they've got it and how to use it in some of these simple situations is really important. So thanks again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks, to, thanks for listening to this challenge. See what you can do. Uh, get it up, get it posted. Hashtag Bush Kids or at Bush Kids. Uh, and have it count to one of the challenges and hopefully we'll send you some prizes. All the best and see you soon.